Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back today with another haul video. So I have some items here from an estate sale, but let me give you a little backstory first. So this year in particular, I've been going to a lot more estate sales than even auctions, which is sort of strange, but I found a great estate sale company around here that I guess they just, they just don't know quite what they're doing 100%. I've already purchased a really awesome, you can see it right there maybe, it's crystal right here it's a crystal sailboat i bought that for eight dollars at their estate sale and it's worth over three hundred dollars and then i also purchased an abacus for like three dollars and then sold it for 250. Um, uh, so that abacus if you're wondering about it that's on a previous sold video that i did so i talked about why it sold for 250 dollars but Let's just put it this way. The company doesn't really know quite what they have or what they're doing. And that's just probably what happens when you have an estate sale company. There's just so much to get through and you're liquidating and you're trying to clear out a house. So here's the deal. This company, I've been going to their estate sales and I have a great idea of what they have. I can remember, I guess, I don't know how many people can do this, but you can see something like you could see this and then you remember months later where it was in the house or even if you don't buy it you're like oh that was there right there in the corner by this so i went to this estate sale and immediately i started recognizing all of these things now they're from a multitude of different sales but together they were all there and i recognized the pattern that whoa the, these are all from other estate sales it quickly, I put the pieces together and found out that that is the estate sale company's leftover stuff. So I managed to go to this estate sale that's basically leftovers from other estate sales, if you're following that. So all of these things here have already been tried, they've been tried, they have tried to sell these at formal estate sales on behalf of the customer, the family that's getting rid of the items. So what happens whenever you have things left over after an estate sale, the estate sale company usually clears them out and just takes them with them. The family could also choose to hang on to them or you could hire maybe a clean out, a, sep a separate clean out service, but usually they want the estate sale company to take care of it all one in one fell swoop. Okay, so that said, there are some baby bin clocks, some uh, other clocks by West Clocks that I remember from an estate sale. There are, well, some of the other things that I remember I left because don't need, don't need them. But I do have some footage of this and I wanna cut into that right now. All right, I just found this amazing estate sale. It's actually where all of the stuff goes that this company, this estate sale company has left over. So a lot of this stuff I saw before, but they just don't know what to do with it. That's a nice little cutting board. <laughs> I told him, I said, you didn't need, you need to fire. clock over there. Looks kind of beat up though. So far I bought some really cool clocks for $2 a piece and some fruit, some glass fruit, a little bit of Tupperware. Here's how much of lids, extra lids. What's in here? Wow. Gosh, it's really hot. Oh, there's stuff on that side too. Okay, so. What do we got? Oh, that's kind of little sailboat. Not really marked. That's kind of cute. Plastic. 
false graph. I've already got one of these at home that I need to list. Some old towels. All right, so as you can see, it was very disorganized. I was trying to record, but there was this girl that was just talking and talking and talking to me. I've never seen her before, so I don't know who she was, but anyways this was at their house you know they didn't know what to do with everything this was i showed up on a wednesday they were not expecting me and that was due to the fact they forgot to take down their estate sale signs and it wasn't my fault but i pulled up and like the people were leaving luckily i was i just because they were leaving with a trailer i just thought oh somebody beat me to the punch and they filled up their trailer no that was actually the estate sale people they were leaving to go get more things from another house but luckily some other girls showed up and they were able to take care of me but i've never seen these girls and one was going on and on about her resume to this other girl how great she was as a saleswoman salesman then she, i don't know i'm not going to get into it but all in all it was pretty interesting so let me show you some of these clocks and i do remember these clocks they were in the kitchen on the bottom shelf and these are the original prices the tags here so they didn't re-tag or reprice anything this is all I, well so these things were in a box a brown wood box underneath the table outside and they've been out there for three days she told me and I was like, well, you do $2 per clock. And she was like, well, she hemmed and hawed back and forth. Didn't know because some say $10 and some say $20. But eventually she said, you know what? Yeah, $2. You're the first one to ask about them in over three days. Probably no one saw them under the table, but wasn't going to say that. So this one is a very standard West Clocks clock. This one we see all the time, or I do. It's from like, say, the 70s has a metal body sometimes there are plastic bodies in this case it's a plastic base so we're starting to get cheaper with the quality here this one was ten dollars and it does work i made sure that they all worked before i bought them this one here i like the most it's actually made by bradley bradley alarm really awesome i love that i love the gold i love the little feet on it so cute and here's the back and it has this wonderful little top here to it so this one was actually marked at $10 originally. Very cool. And then there's two other West clocks. This one is red. I thought that was fun. That's why I bought this one. It's a red body, metal, ba metal base. This is known, okay, this is just, they're just calling it West clock. And then the other one is known as Baby Ben. So if you're at all familiar with, or if you're not familiar with West clocks, they have a series of clocks called Big Ben, which was this one here, the first one I showed you. Big Ben, Baby Ben, and I wanna say Tiny Tim. But they have these series of clocks. I think it's just the three, if, if my memory's correct, of like the size versions. But all in all, uh, the West clock name is pretty popular. And I think this one here, it was they were trying to get $20 out of it. I think I could get $20 for this one online. I paid two. This one here is the Baby Ben. They were trying to get $8 out of it. I paid two. I will try to sell it for about 15 plus shipping, 20 with free shipping. This Bradley alarm clock, they were trying to get $10. I paid two. I will put this one up for about like $24 with free shipping, that one. And then this one is the biggest one, but it's also kind of like the most common. This one was a $10 marked, I paid two. I'll sell it for about uh, 15 with free shipping, 15 to 18 with free shipping on this one. So the clocks were pretty good. I also picked up these cute little frogs. These are fun. I think there's uh, toothpick holders, but they're a pair. That's why I bought them. Well, it's not really why I bought them, but I bought them because they're adorable. You know, actually they might be candle. No, they're too big for that. So it's a pair, so you could 
you know, do different things or like little vases. But they're so cute. They were $2 a piece originally. Now, mind you, these are the original, original prices that were at the estate sale. So here's my argument. This stuff is all free to these people now. So I don't understand why they're trying to get the original prices. That's why I went in so low with some of these things. But this, this, uh, these here I paid $2 for both. So I did save $2. The clocks I did a good job on. I also bought these Tupperware, this Tupperware caddy set. You could put, you know, your sugar, your, I actually don't even know what you could put all in there, but you could put your condiments in there. And so there we are. I love the, I love that it has the caddy still. It's dirty. I need to wash these off. This is a booth item, I think. Uh, we'll see about that. I don't know how much it would sell for. I didn't do my research on this one. Probably 20, 25 with shipping included. But that's just my thinking here, but I'll double check that and I'll note it below if it's any crazier than that. But I like that it's a complete set. I paid a dollar, I think. Yeah, paid a dollar for that. Originally this had $5 on it, so that was good. I'm saving my favorite thing for the for like the last thing to show you. I also bought some of these Murano style fruits, <laughs> fruit and vegetable things. I say Murano style because they're blown glass. Uh, I don't think they're Murano. Someone once told me that these were sold at like Dollar General. Could be. I mean, why not? They were trying to sell each one of these for four dollars. This one is a white ear of corn. That's probably one of my favorites. I don't think. First of all, corn is one of the more popular ones of these. I've sold these online and they sell for about $10 a piece online for some of the better ones. The corn is always a good seller and then I have the yellow stalk, as the yellow cob as well. This one has a slight little chip somewhere or maybe I, I thought it did. I don't know, I guess not. And then let me go quickly through the other ones. There's two peppers or is that a carrot? I don't know. Oh no, that's two, two peppers. So two of those. The banana. All these were $4. I mean, I didn't pay for it. I'll tell you what I paid whenever I get done. There's that one. Then we have, this one is like more textured. This is more textured, see? The other ones are smooth. And then we have this big pepper. Then we have, then we have whatever that is, a green pepper perhaps. And then a onion, a tomato, and a lemon. Okay, so I bought all of those. Oh, well, that's part of it. I bought all of those and one other thing that I'm not going to show you yet. I paid $5 for all of those. That was outstanding. Really, it was. So I think what I'm going to do is put these in the booth. And in the booth, I could expect to sell each one of these for like 5 or $6 a piece. And that'll be a pretty easy way. I mean, especially we're talking about these. Now, I I don't know, I might put the two corns together because if those sell for $10 a piece, I could put $30 with free shipping and that'll net me like 20 bucks for the two. That's, that's an extra $10 across the two rather than putting them in the booth. Oh, I don't know, we'll see. At a certain point, it's like, just put it in the booth, it's easier. But um, by the way, <laughs> If you want any of these, $5 a piece plus shipping, just let me know. Of the fruits, and I think they're all actually in great shape without any chips. I'll double check that. I also bought, okay, here's the, my favorite thing. Really cool. They originally were trying to get $5 out of it. And look at this. Look at that elephant there. I didn't quite know what it was at first. I did some research, finally found someone who had this, li who had this listed, and they have it listed as a, I think they said perfume jar. I think that's what it was. But it's missing the cap. But it's just this wonderful, like 1920s. Look at the form on here. The form is lovely. I love the elephant. Let me, I want this to focus on the elephant here. It's acting stupid. Focus on the elephant. There we go. Okay, so I love that elephant. I love the color. This is a 
sprayed on finish, by the way. It's like a flashed on, fired on, external color of blue. Really pretty. That was in the same box as the fruit. So same $5. I also bought this, but I only bought this out of necessity because she, she didn't have change for a 20 and I needed to spend five more dollars. So what did I, I thought I bought one other thing to make that $5. Oh, I, I, I added that clock in. I bought this clock and this fruit for a $5 value. So this here is in the style of Capitamonte. I'm not sure in this case who made it, but it's this Italian uh, porcelain. It does have a mark, so I will need assistance if anyone happens to know this mark. It does say made in Italy, by the way, but I cannot read it other than that. So that's the mark right there. Uh, mine are crazy throughout. I don't see really any huge chips or anything. Let me show you the fruit itself. If it'll focus on the fruit. There we go. Lovely color. Cherries are nice. So um, I'm not sure on value of something like this. Just based on the look of it, I think I would get like $30 with free shipping. But if it happens to be more of a collectible item, it could be substantially more. So my other exciting thing, this was the other one that I kept, I know, it's you're probably like, it's just a glass thing that's broke. No, it's beautiful. I like it so much. But hopefully you like that. I think this was kind of a longer drawn out video. Some of you like that. Some of you want me to get to the point. I never know what to do. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully you liked what I showed you, it's sort of an assortment. I just thought it was really funny stumbling upon those people. Oh, my battery's dying, so I gotta talk fast. Okay, bye, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.